why they are launching my candidacy from president of the United States. Folks, America's an idea. An idea that's stronger than any army, bigger than any ocean, more powerful than any dictator or tyrant. It gives hope to the most desperate people on earth. It guarantees that everyone is treated with dignity. It gives hate no safe harbor. We will indeed keep America great. And we will be victorious. Better than ever before. We're going to keep it better than ever before. And that is why tonight I stand before you to officially launch my campaign for a second term as President of the United States. All right, it's been more than a year since President Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden announced their plans to run for President of the United States. Millions of Americans have cast their ballots already, and more people are heading to the polls to do so today. Thinking about the pandemic, social injustice, the economy, and much more. An early victory for the Biden and Trump camps, two tiny New Hampshire communities voted for president after the stroke of midnight. Dixville notches five votes went to Biden, and of Missville's 21 votes, 16 went to President Trump, the rest for Biden. And while people are heading to the ballot box, uh, watching the numbers roll in and hoping their candidate wins, the Oval Office, a Senate seat, and more, businesses across the country are boarding up their windows, hoping the nights ahead stay peaceful. And the chill is in the air, and it's sticking around a little bit longer. So grab those jackets as you head out to vote. All right, it's a big day. It's Tuesday. We're getting you started this yeah. morning. Good morning to you. Welcome to Fox 5, morning at 4 a.m. Election day, finally here. Yep, it's here, and we have you covered across the board with our team coverage. Millions of people have already voted, and more are expected today. But before we get to what you need to know about Election Day 2020, let's get a look at our forecast from Mike Thomas. Good morning to you, Mike. 